Hey everybody, it's the interview queen, Alicia Atute here, and I am so excited to be catching up with someone I always love seeing in person. Right now with everything going on, I get to see her on my screen. It is the lovely Kylie Ray. <laughs> Hi! And Gemini. Yes, and little Gemini. She's, she's very needy right now and wants the attention, but she's beautiful and I love her so much. I hope you all don't mind that she's going to be with us in the interview as well. She's I'm pretty sure that we, we all welcome dogs in our my interviews, you know, and, and luckily it's my show, so I get to make the rules, so Gemini is fully here. <laughs> thank you, and we both thank you for having us on, so. Absolutely. Thank well, what have you been up to the last couple of days? How are you keeping sane through all of this? Kind of fill me in a bit. You know what? It's funny because I really thought that this time was going to be a time to, you know, like rest our bodies and like self-care and just really take care of ourselves mentally, physically, and any nagging injuries. But I think I've like <laughs> worked out more now than I have, and I don't even know how long. Like my, I'm walking, and I'm just like, why is my body so sore? I've been running lately because all the gyms are closed, and right. just trying to avoid eating like everything in sight. Um, because you know, with all the shows being canceled and whatnot, and then like my non wrestling job is also canceled until like June. So they're just, they're on lockdown as well. And it's just, yeah, it's definitely taught me how to be okay with being just with ourselves. Like me and my boyfriend, we've just been hanging out with our dog and like grocery shopping almost every other day, but just trying to like put things into perspective and see like what's really important in life. Like, hey, maybe working isn't the most important thing in life. Maybe it is like spending time with ourselves and spending time with our loved ones and, and making sure like we're okay mentally, physically, and emotionally. So yeah, that's pretty much all I've been doing, like going for walks and stuff. <laughs> like, <laughs> something we rarely get to do. So, and it's like 34 degrees here. So it's like a little chilly, but I'm sure you're aware of that as well. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of line up when it comes to weather quite right. a bit, our city. So yeah, it's not the most lovely of weather, but we make do when we have to. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So we're we're ready for anything. We got winter jackets, we got summer clothes. So I don't know. How, how have you been dealing with all this? Are you staying sane? So. Yeah, I'm trying to. I mean, I've been hosting a lot of these interviews, just trying to keep pumping out content. And, you know, luckily it's one of those things where, yes, bookings were completely taken away and you can't travel. But I can, in this way, make do with at least providing people with some content and just taking people's minds off of stuff, really. Like, that's what YouTube's kind of for. And You know what I mean? Like, exactly. just taking a step back, watching random videos. So at least there'll be some kind of wrestling content for people to watch. And, you know, it's been fun for me seeing friends. So it's good. And, like, for most of us, wrestling was, like, it was, like, our outlet. Like, it was, like, a, a sense of, like, therapy and, like, belongingness and, like, everybody coming together. And, like, we have a lot of, like, people who we see more than our own family within wrestling. So, like, we, like, miss everyone. But, like, this is the good part of, like, social media and YouTube and, like, being able to connect with people, even though we're not able to, like, physically be there, we can still be there, like, through Skype and through, you know, like FaceTime and like just through our cell phones and whatnot. So it's, it's cool seeing like everybody come together and just the wrestling community in general. I've never seen anything like it. Like we were just talking about that. It's like something that's never happened to us before. It's something you don't think you're going to like happen in your lifetime. You really don't. It's just you see it in movies and you think, oh my gosh, wouldn't that be crazy? And you just don't think it's reality. And then boom, you wake up and we're all stuck in our homes in quarantine. Like, it's just right. bizarre. It's just like, bizarre. <laughs> being out on the streets, like, I'm like, this is so eerie. Like, are, are you guys on lockdown as well? Or yeah. You, guys, like, you are? Oh, God, it's, like, so odd. I'm just like, there should be traffic right now. Like, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, you're only allowed to leave um, if you have to go to, like, anything um, physical, like, as far as the doctors or anything like that. Uh, grocery shopping. And there's one other. And gas stations, I think, are open. Yeah. And that's it like the only places you can go otherwise it's a ghost town <laughs> right like it's wild but something what? yeah I I guess something I think it'll hopefully uh, it's a lesson being learned and one day it'll all make sense and I guess only time will tell right oh absolutely I mean one thing though that has actually been making me smile pretty frequently with all this craziness going on are these little fun facts that you've been sharing about yourself it is 
ballsy girl to like go out there and say some of this stuff and that's what I've always liked about you you've always been very blunt you've always just been yourself regardless of who's watching or who's there and I really respect that um but you share stuff from literally like peeing in public pools to not (laughs) shaving and you even wrote something about how you're um sitting down with your boyfriend and you farted in purpose I know okay because the way I saw it was like Okay, this is stuff, it's pretty common, even though it's stuff that, like, it's unspoken, like, we don't normally talk about it, like, think of how many people probably pee, like, in a pool or in a lake when there's no bathroom available, or think of how many people accidentally fart when they sneeze, or, like, when they burp, when they fart, and, like, just little things like that, and, like, honestly, does anybody really like shaving? Like, nobody likes shaving, it's, like, it's time-consuming, like, I don't know about you, but I always cut myself on accident, like, right right around the kneecap and the ankle, the I'm ankle's like, the worst. <laughs> right, right. I'm like, dude, we have to, like, there's got to be other people out there that feel this way. They're just like, it could be embarrassing to talk about. And I was like, you know what, screw this. Like, I've been through hell and back, especially over these past, like, couple of years. And I'm just like, I'm just going to be open about it. Like, I'm not going to be ashamed to an extent with <laughs> how much I share. So I know some could be a little too open, but... It's in my, I don't know, at least for me, like, I think it's fun. And I've kind of always been like that growing up. I've been pretty open and, like, try to not be ashamed of, like, the just little things like that. Because it happens to all of us. Like, it truly does. Like, there's, it's fine. And, like, That's I always, why, like, we try to keep up this, like, perfect image on social media. And, like, in reality, like, that's not life. Like, no. stuff happens. Like, not at all. We're not perfect. We're human. Like, stuff happens. We we go through good days. We go through bad days. And we definitely sometimes sneeze and fart at the same time. And it's just, <laughs> it's fine. I, just, I just love seeing you post that stuff because you're totally resonating me, with me right now. I had this talk with Vicky Guerrero, like, months ago. And um, she was just telling me how she was looking through my social media and she liked how I expressed the stuff I was sad about, mad about, and then happy about because it's not constantly 24 seven, like, woohoo, like life's great. This is just not the case. And like, I've been trying to post pictures, like sure, I'll look glam sometimes. So we have TV, we're like forced to cake on makeup and I know we both hate it. Um, <laughs> so I've been trying to just post pictures where like, I'm not wearing any because we also have that fan base to be like, hey, this is okay too. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to be happy, all that stuff. So mm-hmm. when I saw your, your posts, Especially the one where you were like, look at the beads of sweat dripping down my arm hair. I was like, girl. Because, like, I also was born with, like, the hairiest arms. And I don't know why. But whatever. It's me. Join the club. Showing our arm hair. I love this so much already. Right. So. It's true. Like, we're all human. We're not perfect. Stuff happens. And we learn from it. And then, like, honestly, I think owning it is like the best thing we can do like there's there's no way we can't act like that stuff doesn't happen because like yeah like you said there's good days there's stuff that like irritates us there's stuff that we love and and sometimes we do need to vent and let stuff out and sometimes we do just need to be happy and be positive but like we can't be positive all the time like it's just impossible (laughs) but then some days it's like good to be like okay like let's just look on the bright side so (laughs) totally I just want to say like I'm sure tons of people saw it too and it made them feel that way and I'm sure at times you're, like, looking at the post and you're like, mm, I don't know. But, like, I'm glad you press send because they make me smile a lot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Like, are there ever times where, like, I used to be so bad at this where I would just get lost in, like, social media. And I'd be like, oh, like, I'd find myself unintentionally, um, I don't want to say judging, but, like, kind of, like, look, and I'm just like, mm, maybe that shouldn't be said. And then I start and I think back and I'm like, wait, I've been in that position. Like, I've accidentally, you like, you know, like, I've posted stuff like that. So I shouldn't be, like, we all make mistakes. We all, like, mess up and and to not, like, put other people down. So, like, if there's anybody who may be, like, offended by, like, my post, I like to think, like, what was the one quote that Bob Marley said where he's, like, don't point your fingers unless your hands are clean or whatever? Like, I truly believe that. And, like, I'm like, who are we to judge each other? Like, that's, that's dumb. It's dumb. I totally agree with you. And I was just curious, do you think you could share like one of your random facts with us right now? Maybe maybe one that you've yet to put out there. And if it doesn't come to mind right away, we can always totally circle back. But I was like, I wonder what would be a random fact. Okay, let's see. Um, uh, let's see, a fun fact. Um, I mean, one for me is that I do I do all my interviews over Skype in pajama pants. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. That's, I have like workout clothes on right yeah. now. And I'm just 
just like, I haven't showered. And I'm just like, it's fine. Um, a fun fact. Okay, I was so nervous for this interview that I ate like half of a jar of goober grape before we started. <laughs> And Isaiah is like, what are you doing? Like, why are you doing? I was like, I'm just so nervous. And I just couldn't stop eating. And I was just like, I nervously eat sometimes. Like, I get so anxious. I get social anxiety. And I know, like, it's common. Because, like, okay, we all, like, showing up to shows. Like, it can be very intimidating. Like, just shake every hand. Right? And I'm just like, I get so nervous. And I'm just like, I'm just, like, nervous for this interview. And I just couldn't stop eating. And I was like usually pretty strict on my diet but like today I was just like oh my gosh but um let's see I have another one that's pretty gross but um I don't usually clip my toenails I bite them I, I bite my toenails you 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 do this <laughs> what? That's how I clip them yes I like okay my I have shoes on obviously that's gross. <laughs> but yeah I bite my toenails and I just like I just go to town I don't know wow <laughs> that's, that's a fun fact of the day yeah that's a wonderful fact. Look at that. And then I walk back and be like, why did you say that? <laughs> what did you why were you nervous I mean, for this? I, I, I hope, uh, why were you nervous for this? I feel like this is like the 10th time I've had you on. I know. I was like, oh my gosh, like we've talked so many times now, but I don't know why. I just, I, something about interviews and just honestly talking to people in general, because I'm like, an, I'm pr- I get pretty awkward and I'm just, obviously, you know. <laughs> but I just get I get social anxiety like any situation like literally showing up to family parties I get social anxiety I'm oh, like wow. people have known me my entire life like there's no reason yeah. to have social anxiety <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know it's I'm like sweat like I feel sweat like coming down I'm- you know what's weird is anytime I do podcasts with people where they're interviewing me or even these interviews I get sweaty like here I get boob sweat yeah. and like behind my knees and I'm like I'm not even like I'm not nervous like I'm as cool as a cucumber but my body's just like going into freak out mode I don't know why (laughs) what's going on like god forbid I can't wear gray ever because it'll just like seep through (laughs) you'll never see one unless it's a certain material like I'm material proof everything I wear oh I love it I love it so much I'm glad that we're in the same boat because that makes me feel like then less shame then that's perfect <laughs> yeah we sweat and have arm hair we're just a couple of normal gals <laughs> right it's, it's common it's, it's fine it's fine totally one thing I do want to bring up is how and you've mentioned this too you've had such a crazy last year couple of years and I'm so happy to see you back in so many promotions that just absolutely adore you so how did it feel when you made that return to the indie scene and you saw how much not only you were missed but just how much people freaking love you. Like it was so genuine seeing people's response. Yeah. I don't, I like still don't believe it. Like I always say, I was always one who would try to talk to like every fan, no matter what, like I would try to always make time for them. Like there would be like an ongoing joke that after every show, like they'd have to like push us out of the building because my, my line, it wasn't necessarily that it was so long. It was just, I would take so much time with each fan, like trying to talk to them and like get to know them. And like, I like hearing people's background stories because like we all have a different story and it's cool to hear like different walks of life that like everybody's come to, to lead them to wrestling. Cause it's not, it's not the norm. Like not, I mean, it's becoming more mainstream now, but especially growing up, like it wasn't the cool thing to be into. And um, it's just, like the day I like made the return, like I had my first match in like a couple months, it didn't feel real. Like still to this day, I'm like somebody paid everybody to go to that show and like oh. cheer for me. Because I was like, I was, like so there's cute. no way that like they, I like I was like they're gonna boo me. Like they're gonna they're gonna hate me. They're they're not even gonna remember who I am. And like I I like to believe that some like the some fans that I do have they truly are like I built up that friendship with them so it's not like we have like a meaningful connection and like the bond and like I try to like be as open as you could tell as open and like raw as I can be and like just get to know everybody and like I don't know if that's I I don't know I'd have to like ask people who mildly (laughs) like me I guess I I ask them like what's (laughs) what they see but like I'm to be honest like I'm a super insecure and like the one of the like least confident people you will ever meet so like seeing Me all too. of that and like all that right it's, it's wild um, 
So seeing all that love, like, I was just like, like, there was a part of me that was like, is this real? Like, am I just a big butt of the joke? Or like, what's going on? But like, and seeing that, and people are like, no, like, that's true. Like, people genuinely, like, feel that way about you. Like, they're happy that you're back. And, like, I, I had a bad habit of letting, like, one negative comment, like, completely affect everything. Like, if one person didn't like me, like, I would... I feel I'd like just... we're the same person. <laughs> <laughs> like, we lose sleep over it. And it's like... Oh, totally. Think about all the, all the other people we've affected and, like, and, like, how they've affected us. And it's just, like, there's no need... Like, at the end of the day, we can't please everyone. And, like, that's so much what I was trying to do that it would, like, it was almost to a fault. Like, there was no need, because there's always that, that one saying where it's, like, you can be the ripest peach in the bunch, and there's still going to be people who don't like peaches. So, like, it's okay. Like, just don't don't let that change, like, who we are. Like, and that's something I really had to learn throughout all this is, like, we can't please everyone. Like, there's going to be people who have their own opinions, and they're entitled to that. Like, that's completely understandable. They don't have to, like anything that we're putting out or like even who we are as people and like that's completely okay as long as like we're respectable and like still like be true to ourselves then that's I don't know that's kind of all we can do so I guess that's something I learned throughout all this so at the end of the day it was really exciting being back and like I've just been living every day like day to day at this point and just trying to enjoy the ride because it's about the journey so Oh. <laughs> it's kind of under pressure again. <laughs> it's fine. I mean, I've seen you backstage at so many shows. We worked a really big show together at one point, and then we worked smaller shows together. And like, you've always just been that bubbly and super sweet personality. And even when stuff wasn't going our way, like, you would just find a way to pick stuff up and like really just push through, no matter how much anxiety was running through us. Um, <laughs> It's just something I've always really admired about you because it's not something that you find too often in people. And I don't know. I just ha- have you always been that way? Like just kind of like happy go lucky, but like real at the same time, if that makes any sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I remember I think it was before Rise, like when we went out there and you're like, Yeah, we're doing a segment. I was like, Oh, I'm so nervous. Like, what's gonna happen? Yeah. Like, it's, it's okay. It's fine. I'm like, okay, it's it's gonna be okay. We'll just we'll see. And that was literally <laughs> That was like my second in-ring segment I've ever done. And now I do them like all the time with MLW. But like, oh my gosh, I was terrified. You you were telling me like, don't worry. And then you were freaking out though. <laughs> but it's okay. Right. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I've always... No, I think I... Because like even like in high school, like I won class clown. And I would always try to... Um, be lighthearted and make a joke out of things. And... Like, even growing up, I don't know if it's because I, I kind of had, like, one of, like, those tougher childhoods, so I would always try to look on the bright side. Like, I was around, growing up, I was around, like, a good amount of angry people, so I think I would always try to, like, turn it and be like, oh, but this, like, let's just be happy, and um, I would kind of, like, it's almost like a defense mechanism. So, like, even when I'm angry, sometimes I smile, and, like, I laugh, and, like, in awkward situations, like, I'll be smiling, and, like, I used to get in trouble a lot, like, in school, like, my teachers would be yelling at me and I'm just smiling and they're like stop smiling I'm like I'm sorry I'm just nervous like so it's almost like a nerve thing and I just try to like always see the good and it's hard like it's again it's not always possible like there I do have hard days and like like all of us do and but at the end of the day I do try to be like as optimistic as possible and try to make a joke out of everything because I think that's the fun in life and that's kind of how we get through it is like if we can't laugh at ourselves, and that's, like, I'll, I'll tend to do that. Like, I'll make fun of myself the most. Like, I don't, like, I don't, usually don't make fun of other people. I usually make fun of myself, and I'm usually, like, the butt of the joke. And, like, if we can't laugh at ourselves, then, like, who can we laugh at, you know? So, like, yeah, I guess I've kind of always been like this. At times, it's a lot harder than <laughs> than usual. But, of course. Yeah, like, even just, like, driving a car and like singing at the top of your lungs and like just making a fool out of ourselves it's like yeah like look at what we do for a living like we go out and like wrestle in like random towns in like almost half naked and just like roll around and like some people are like baby oil and whatnot like if we can't laugh at ourselves like that's but it's like fun like we love it and that's that's the best part about it is like that's how I entertain myself is like through comedy and I think through my wrestling, you're kind of able to see that. 
So, like, I don't know. It's fun. We always need somebody to, like, lighten up the mood. Because like, I'm sure you've been in locker rooms where it's, like, so serious and, like, everybody's Money. lost on eggshells, right? And then it's, like, but the, the shows that we're at that's, like, fun, that's what makes it not feel like work. Like, it makes it feel like it's, like, we should be having fun. Like, look what we get to do. We get to freaking wrestle. Like, that's amazing. And like it's just literally like, a fun you know, thing that everyone's doing. The people literally come to have fun. So like, why shouldn't those locker rooms backstage follow in those same footsteps? Right. I've always thought that. Yeah, exactly. And like, everyone might not agree with it, but I'm just like, even if I'm going to a non wrestling job, like I still like, like it's fun. That's what gets us through the day is like joking around and like being lighthearted and having a good time. And like, who wants to be? all serious all the time like and no no judgment if people want to but I'm like for me like what gets me through the day is like the positivity and like having fun essentially and like joking around I don't know yeah it's the same it's the same for me like I'll definitely have days where I'm just not fun at all but you know I try my best to maintain that positivity and also it's like I can be the total focus of all my jokes because if you can't joke about yourself like you said what else can you joke about or joke with and I also used to use it as, like, a mechanism to protect myself. Like, oh, if I make fun of this on myself, like, if you make fun of it, then it's not going to hurt. Like, I already <laughs> made the joke. Yeah. So I already there's know also it's not that. myself. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. <laughs> but. I, yeah, I do. And I love, like, every interview I've ever had with you, because usually, like, as of late, I've been, and I've always been like this, I'm nervous about, like, again, social anxiety and, like, talking to people and Q&As. But, like, this is one I, like without a doubt I was like absolutely I'm 100% going to do this because you've always made it seem like it's not like it's just two casual friends like talking and that's like you make it easy and like we play off each other and it's it's fun like it just feels like a genuine conversation and you're always like that like you're always smiling you're always like beaming you're so like sweet. light just like walking just walking and I'm like oh my god you're so freaking adorable I love it and it's just like we need more people like that so I don't know that's so funny. Like, I could literally say the exact sentence as you to you. So, you know, it's one of those things where sometimes you don't see yourself like that. So sometimes it's nice to hear that people view you that way. So that's, li- that's literally how I view you. You come into a room and I'm like, yes, Kyle is here. <laughs> so. oh, she's not sweating. It's fine. <laughs> I really just wanted to thank you so, so much for coming on here. Not only did I want to have you on, but I have had so many fans of you, of me being like, you have to do this again. So, yeah, I'm really happy we made this happen. Oh, thank you for having me. We, yeah, I'm saying goodbye. She's, she's, Bye, yeah. Jessica. Goodbye. She's like, please put me down. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, bye. Thank you so much again. Like, it's, I can't stress this enough. You make it, you make it easy in a good way. And it's so much fun. Yeah, right? Isn't it? Mm-hmm. No, but thank you. And it's, it's been a blast. So no. I hope everyone enjoys it. And if you ever would like to have me on again, I would love to. So I would love to have you back, everybody. This has been Kylie Ray. I'm the interview queen, Alicia Too. Be sure to check out alicia2.com for all exclusive interviews and features. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>